it'll get you that much closer. Hello, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Getting My Life Together with Andrea Logan. That's me. Um, and that's Jora over here in the window. He's probably just gonna be chilling out over there until I actually start messing with some stuff and he's gonna wanna investigate. In today's episode, this is gonna be a baby step and that's okay because it is one step closer to my big picture goal, which is having a clean, decluttered, and beautiful space in which to live. Today, we are going through hair accessories and tools. If you watched my last week's video, I went through everything toiletries from my closet, my like bathroom closets, and I pulled out the hair accessories and tools to go through this week. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. The heat tools are not going to be included. Those are already in like a separate pile in the closet where I'm storing my toiletries now. And I didn't feel the need to include them. I don't wanna get rid of any of them. And um, they, they don't have a bin that they're in, but you know, whatever. They're on the shelf, I know where they're at, and I reach for them when I need them. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos recently or seen me on Instagram stories, this is about the extent to which I do my hair recently. <laughs> so, um, I have a lot of cute accessories that I just don't need. The ones that I do want to keep, I will. I thought maybe I could either sell or give some of these like to Mike's nieces or whoever wants them. I guess without further ado, let's declutter. All right, we're at that funny angle again, but... This just works out best. I'm actually going to adjust just a little bit so that I get Jorah's crate out of here a little bit more. So here's what we're working with. Brushes I'm going to set aside. Now I don't really use these brushes anymore, but I don't want to get rid of them because they are very nice. And if I wanted to use them again, I wouldn't want to have to purchase them. These are like round styling brushes um, that are ceramic. Um, good for using with a hair dryer. This is my travel brush. This is the current brush that I use. I love this so much. And my combs, I'll set the combs aside. Oh, this goes to my hair removal tool. So you can set that aside because I know where that is at now. That was organized into a separate bin last week with the toiletries, so I can put that where it goes. Let's make a clip pile. Right there, that's in, in frame. Move those a little bit, okay. And then we can make a bobby pin pile. I just have a ton of loose bobby pins. This type of clip, I'll put that type of clip over here. And then scrunchies. Oh my goodness, do I have so many scrunchies. And a lot of them need to be washed. They're very pretty. But like this one, this one is well worn. Um, it's a little bit discolored. And yet, I love it. I don't want to get rid of it if I don't have to. Put these over here. Let's see, now headbands like this, I typically don't really even use these because um, they slide off my head, like no matter what, even like this has like that rubber grippy stuff that also like breaks my hair, so I don't like that. I pretty much only use these for like washing my face and like when I'm using the shower cap on my hair, I will put one of these on first just to keep all my hair back. So I'm gonna throw these all into a pile. I don't wanna get rid of them, but I do use them for showers. Goodness, look at this. I have brand new ones on a, on a cardboard thing here from Under Armour that I've never used. Although if I start working out again, I might actually want these. I need to start working out again. This one is like a decorative one, so I think this can probably go, well, I don't know, where should I put this? I'll decide in a minute. Oh no, he might. There's a stink bug in here. Uh, I got these little like rubber bands to put on like small braids, so I don't want to get rid of these. Um, I guess 
Let me make a pile here of like all of these types of hair ties. Some scissors. Feel good to have this stuff organized. I don't know what took me so long to get on the bandwagon of these guys, but like I love these things. This is what's in my hair right now. It is so easy to put my hair up in a bun and use um, these things. I don't know what the heck they're called. I mean, like coil bands. Um, they just remind me of telephone cords, which I mean. <laughs> Do they still make telephone cords like this? I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, that's what they remind me of and I love them. Um, I guess I can put them with these. Let's see, little baby clippies. Here is a very random Christmas earring. I guess I can throw this in my jewelry box. I have no idea where the other one is. <laughs> it's a poinsettia. Yeah, it's gonna be on my jewelry box. Over there with that other thing that needs to be moved. Here's some cute barrettes. Oh, wait, I didn't put those over there. Um, cute barrettes and put them with those clips. Safety pen that can probably be thrown away. I thought I used to have a bobby pin holder. I don't know what happened to that. Okay, these are gonna stay in this bag. This is something that is super cool. You twist your hair around it so it keeps some of your hair in place. I have a few of them. I get them at Renaissance festivals. So this obviously for longer hair. And then it has this really pretty thing at the end that you know hangs within your hair or below your hair. So I, I love these. I will never get rid of these. Mostly what I want to get rid of are like these um, cute little flowers and um, just barrettes with bows. Like I. I don't wear these anymore. They're very cute, but I would much rather give them to, you know, one of Mike's nieces who may actually use them because they're cute little girls. <laughs> all right, well, I got it all organized. Um, that's really the only thing I'm gonna be decluttering then is, is this. So let me go get some containers to organize this stuff into. All right, I have... This little three drawer container. I actually have a few of these, but this was the cleanest and it's probably just gonna be the easiest option for me to throw this stuff into. Um, so I have quick access to it later. I guess some of this stuff is just gonna have to be bundled together since there's only three drawers, which is fine. Let's throw clips into the bottom. Might as well take these off of this thing. I mean, that's all pretty much the same thing, right? At least now they're in a drawer. So when I need them, I know where they're going to be. And the next one, we can throw these scrunchies. Since these are kind of a special thing, I'm going to throw them in with the scrunchies and they're in a separate bag anyway, so they're not going to take up too much space those on the side. What am I going to do with these? I guess I could just put these in with the scrunchies. I don't reach for scrunchies too much. They're more like decorative now. Oh, that's just not logical. All right, I guess I'm going to have to get another bin. No, you know what? I'm gonna put my brushes and the comb that I don't use um, up with my heat tools. I do use these, so I'll keep these out separate on here. I'm just gonna leave a couple of these out um, and I'm gonna put them in here with these ties because like I said, I only really use them when I'm like getting in the shower or um, I do use them like with makeup when I when I do makeup. But again, can't wear makeup because of this damn rash on my face. Yeah, I'll just throw a couple in there and then these can go in. Don't wanna get rid of them because they're very useful. Go in with these brushes. I will put these up on the same shelf as the heat tools. Scissors, I don't use very often either. Uh, I do need to cut my hair though. Um, I really need a trim and these are very nice scissors. 
here that I have been using to do that. So I will put these in here with the tools and they can go up on the top shelf. Looks like I'm done. And then I'm gonna give these to Mike's nieces. I like how that worked out. Um, I went from a bunch of crap in the bottom of this bin to this right here, organized and this right here that's gonna go into the closet. How easy peasy was that? This was just one small baby step toward decluttering and organizing my space. Well, decluttering these five things, but that's okay. Sometimes you just don't really wanna get rid of stuff and sometimes it's all actually useful. I hope this inspired you to take one small baby step for yourself today. Take five minutes on a timer and just clean one little area or declutter one type of item in your home. It'll get you that much closer to a clean and beautiful space. Thank you again so much for um, watching this and being here with me. Again, my name is Andrea Logan. This is a series that I will be making every Tuesday called Getting My Life Together. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My handle is Piggy Pie. All of my info is in the description below. Jora Borgmont is my cute little doggy that is Still over here in the window. I'm surprised that he didn't come over here to investigate what I was doing. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, they are all listed on my channel. I will throw some over here as well on the screen for you to click on. Thank you. Please subscribe. Please like. I will see you guys next Tuesday.